Yo, how's it going guys? So this is a video a ton of you guys have been asking me to make for a while now. I get so many comments and messages asking me what settings and paddles I use for my Elite Controller, and the biggest question I get is do I use Control Freaks? So I'm going to cover all of that in this video. But before we get into that, if you want to know what sensitivity and settings I use in game to get stats like these, then go check out my settings and sensitivity video after this. The link for that will be in the description below. And remember, I play with subscribers every time I play Ring, so hit that subscribe button, you can message me on Xbox, Twitter, or Instagram. The links for those will be in the description below as well, but alright, let's get right into it. Okay, so let's get started by answering the biggest question I get asked, and that is, do I use Control Freaks? And the simple answer for that is just no, I don't use Control Freaks. I honestly think Control Freaks would be useless for me. I've used the normal thumbstick since I've started playing the game, and I'm going to keep using them the rest of my time playing Siege. Alright, now for the part you have all been waiting for, the settings I use for my Elite Controller. Now, my settings are pretty basic, but there are a couple of unique things I've changed, like my trigger dead zones. Now, I have these set to the lowest number possible because the lower number it's set to, the less pressure you have to put on your trigger for it to activate. So basically, it means you barely have to push down your trigger for you to start shooting your gun. And I also use both of my trigger stops just because I feel like it helps me with my reaction time. Now, for the rest of the settings, like the left and right stick, vibration, and brightness settings, I left those completely default and normal. The only settings I've really changed were my trigger dead zones. Okay, so now let's talk about the paddles I use. I only really use my top right paddle and that's set to B, so I can crouch and go prone easier. I don't like using the other paddles because I feel like they are kinda unnecessary and they get in the way. Like I don't need a paddle to reload my gun or switch my gun, I just need one to crouch. That way if I get into a gunfight and I need to switch up my positioning super fast, I can. Plus it's just kinda uncomfortable to hold my controller with all those paddles in the way. Okay, so that's basically all the settings and stuff I use for my Elite Controller, but I also want to share some tips with you guys to help you guys improve your gameplay. Now first off, I I just want to let you guys know that you do not need an Elite Controller to be good at Siege. Now it'll help a ton if you're able to get one, but if you can't, that's okay. Several of my friends have hit diamond just by playing with the normal default controllers. But if you want the ease of using paddles and want to make it easier for yourself, then I would definitely suggest getting an Elite Controller. But no matter what controller you use, if you want to hit diamond, then you need to follow these three simple steps. Game knowledge, your mindset, and gun skill. Now for step one, game knowledge. Take this clip for an example of good game knowledge. I was able to run out side and get multiple kills and run to each side of the map knowing exactly where my enemies were going to enter. Are you ever gonna nice. get a killer or like you just didn't keep it? Ash has- well no 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 like it went down to <laughs> 5 health. She has Wait, 5 health. Ash? Right out that door to the right. She's 5 health. I just downed it. I'm mad that he gets kills with the LS hottie. No joke. No, that's nice. Upstairs, going to match IQ. I down Twitch. I down Twitch. To the left. Uh, They're resetting. I barricaded that. Two down. Right. He's in there. Twitch is down outside, guys. IQ's upstairs. Now right here is a perfect example of extremely good game knowledge. I downed her when I was on the other side of the map and I knew exactly where she was. And since I had good map knowledge, I knew there was a window I could run to to jump out and finish off my kill. You will be detected by hostiles. You have been spotted. Dude, I just slammed this Twitch so hard. You know how mad she probably is? Where is she shooting you from? Ah. Is that my dog? Ash. Don't peek it, you're gonna die. Going back to well, the game they reset. That was level dude. point. So, fuck's sake. Where did I? Oh, you can go to hatch above and kill myself. Like objective. Above. I got Ash. Yep. This is just a weird I match right down there. I'm just having oh, a weird match, dude. Oh, oh my god! Down. I just slammed these kids, dude. I just slammed these kids. Now let's talk about the second step real quick, your mindset. You always want to keep a positive mindset no matter what the situation is. Take this clip of me clutching on 1v2 for example. I'm staying positive the whole entire time and I'm expecting myself to get the win. Uh, Twitch is in like, by Visa. I saw him on his drone. One I'm just on my slate. to your left, so we can probably get him. One's going down spiral stairs. Hello, last one's spiral stairs, last one's pushing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, end up in that room. 
I got it, I got it. Oh, don't peek that. Don't worry about it. Got it. It's just vaulted something. Yeah, she was. vaulted in the kitchen. I got this. Oh, I told you, baby. Nice. Let's go. Let's Diamond go. level plays. As you could see there, I had full confidence in myself. I told my teammates not to worry and that I had it, and I ended up getting the clutch, making me look like a savage. Now for the third step, gun skill. The easiest way to get better gun skill, as we all know, is by running through T-Hunts. T-Hunt will help you improve your aim and improve your reaction time tremendously, so I definitely suggest you run through T-Hunts as fast as you possibly can, and I guarantee your gun skill will start improving in no time. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments if you guys have an Elite controller or if you're still using the default controller, and if you guys could hit that like button for me that would be awesome i worked super hard on this for you guys and all right i'll see you in the next one